Welcome to the 2009 Moody Mega Math Challenge final presentations. Your paper was evaluated as being among the top six of the 389 that were submitted. Arriving here was kind of an exciting experience because we had prepared so long, but it was also nerve-wracking. And when we found out that we were going to be the first team presenting, I think that everyone's hearts kind of leapt. Which elements of the stimulus package would provide the greatest increase in the employment rate, and by how much? How quickly and to what degree results could be seen from the stimulus package? And whether or not a second stimulus package would be needed, and if so, how that might be structured? As far as math goes, I mean, there's a lot of heavy math involved just looking at the presentations today. But there was also a more diverse aspect in the economy and all those things. I mean, now we can see the stimulus package and recognize what's going on. We found that there were four basic economic recovery signals. The first being the stabilization of the stock market, with the second being the stabilization of the oil market. As seen in the graphs, both oil market and stock market, as of recent, deviate from the mean regularly and decrease, whereas if shown in 1999, the prosperous economy, the stock market and oil market would increase slowly and steadily and deviate from the mean rarely. When we, when we first looked at the entire process, we all thought 14 hours, no way we're going to be able to do anything for 14 whole hours. But it was amazing how in-depth the problem actually got and how much we actually were interested in it. Currently, 50% of the U.S. economy is occupied by government spending and added production costs. Our alternative solution was uh, deregulating uh, manufacturing restrictions to free up uh, tied up money that's in the economy. The simple elimination of government spending would free up $1.4 trillion of the U.S. economy that previously did not contribute. We allocate significant funding for the improvement of public schools. We also are providing money toward research for alternative energy and medical technology. The judges asked some questions that were kind of depending on each person's presentation and what what holes there were in their, their in their projects. So. Will someone recap the difference between the uh, 260 billion dollars approach that is your approach and the 787 billion dollar approach? Just a brief recap. Uh, we based our economic stimulus package on directly creating jobs. We figured that since the first economic stimulus package was so geared towards repairing, that we would gear ours towards setting a foundation for future. $15,000 scholarship. Elk County Catholic High School, St. Mary's, Pennsylvania. Wow, <laughs> it's just every, every presentation was different. There was hardly any aspects that carried over. Every, all the findings were completely different. I mean, it was, all, it was all over the place. I mean, it was interesting to see how other groups approached the problems and I'm glad that we got to see all five of them.